Hello, good people, and welcome to Finder Skills Hub. Here, we learn, we connect, and we grow. Well, Excel has yet another new feature that allows you to directly insert checkboxes in cells or ranges. You can use the underlying true and false values to create calculations or even create a dashboard. And that's the inspiration I had when I was thinking of creative ways to use this new checkbox. So let me show you a dashboard, a simple dashboard that shows how much time a typical parent spends with their children. So let's get to it and let me show you how this was done. Okay, so here's our dashboard. You realize I have a mix of green checkboxes and empty checkboxes. So the green boxes are typically the time that parents are at home with their children. And then the empty boxes for times that parents are typically out working or doing other things. But it's not really cast in stone. It's been made flexible. So the idea is that if you think that around this time you are not at home, you can uncheck the boxes. And over here, there's this simple do not chat that now calculates overall how much time that you spend with a child. But here it's just for the learning. So let's see how we created this from scratch. So I'm going to add a new sheet here and begin with just a list of the days in the week. So start with and then one day. And this is an automatic fill series. So I'll just drag this down all the way to Sunday. And here I didn't want to show all the 24 hours in a day so i chose to denominate in two hours starting with when typically parents are awake so that's four o'clock right and then i add the six o'clock part now i can highlight these two if you like change the formatting to h h m m okay so that i have the full display now with this I can just copy all the way to the right, right? So denominated in two hours, this represents the full day. Okay, then let me put in border lines. So I highlight this Alt HBA, okay, for border lines, or if you want the long cuts, you can do all borders here, right? So this sets the stage for our calculations. Now I start off with the typical working hours. So from Mondays all the way to Friday, I come all the way to 16 o'clock or 17 o'clock. In this case, I have selected this range. So this is the time that you are typically at work. So I'll put in false here and then control enter. So this represents the time you're outside. Now the space that you are normally at home is what I'm selecting here. So I'll hold control and then select this entire range. Okay, if I select a range, my active cell still takes my number. So in this active cell, I'm going to put in true, control, enter. So I have something like this, right? Now here's a beautiful thing. So instead of using these values, I can now highlight the whole of this range, okay? Now go to insert, okay? And this is the new feature. Right, so if the false and true values are already there, I can now apply the checkbox. It converts and then gives me the checkboxes for true and the empty ones for false. Right, very nice. Now, with this, I can apply a little conditional formatting. So I'll go to home conditional formatting. The goal here is that I want to set a formula to convert all the trues and format the font to green. Okay, so my formula is that any cell here so this reference is locked so i need to make it relative so f4 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 to take off the dollar sign so if any of these cells in this range is equal to true that is my formula i want a green color so i'll come to font and then choose green for this and then click ok right so when i click ok now i have all my trues in here okay so this is the first stage We'll come back and then make some changes here but let's go on and calculate our percentages right so again i'll put in true put in false here if you like you can copy and apply the formatting okay over this range so i'll just highlight this okay 
now how much time do you spend at home so it's a simple calculation so i'm going to count all the trees here using count if so this is my range i highlight this range f4 to lock this okay how what am i counting i'm counting all the trees here so that's my criteria okay so this will give me the number of trees and my denominator is account a okay of everything in here so take this so it is counting all non-empty cells so even though they are displaying the icons they are true and false values in here so i'll do an f4 of this as well and then close my bracket all right so this currently gives me 68 percent if i copy this down i get the remainder which is 32 percent right now out of this i can insert a donut chart so i come here and then insert this simple donut chart make it simple take off the title take off the legend here and now represents the main fraction now represents the the time at home which is represented by true with the same color so i'll come here and then change this to green right and then the part that is false i'll tone it down to a gray okay so i have something like this now to make it a bit intuitive i'm going to put in a text box so usually when you create donut charts like this it's easier for your users if they are able to see the percentage i'll select this and then increase the font something like this okay now at this point i can take off the borderline for this one so no outline and then also take off the borderline okay okay and then we have something like this to make it cleaner i'm going to take off the red lines all stop uvg and we have something nice and simple now by default this is looking like 68 percent but here's the good thing about this feature if you go in and then you make changes so a typical example is that around this time you probably will be sleeping okay so there's no chat time there's no homework time if i highlight this range i change these values to false right we are back to 49 percent we'll do same for the four o'clock again okay, i'll do false over here and this is decreasing right so saturdays it depends on you so if you are out playing tennis or doing extra work at home you can be on checking this and fairly get an idea how much time you are spending with the children i mean not to be too hard on yourself but here is the learning i just wanted to introduce this new feature to you i'm sure you can think of other creative ways to use this so please practice and add it to your list of excel tricks thanks for watching if this video was helpful and you would like to receive more of these videos directly on your whatsapp you can send ad to this whatsapp number We'll add you to our broadcast list so you receive our videos directly. You can also visit our YouTube channel, Finance Skills Hub. All our old videos are here. Please subscribe for notification of new videos or connect with us on any of these social media handles. Thank you so much for watching.